Alrighty, folks, welcome on back to Lost Odyssey. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of backyard fights. Uh, but first, I wanted to talk to our dude that we have a whole bunch of IOUs. Uh, he just scored a win, wasn't enough to cover the cost. Here's another. How about another investment? Sure. That's fine. I'll give you three. So we now have three signed loan papers of a thousand each. <laughs> I may want to look up what, you know, what we get out of this guy kind of thing. But let's go down to the backyard. We're in uh, Goza in the apartment building. The gambler's on, on floor 10. And the backyard's all the way at the bottom. As we get some fairly ominous music. Oh, hey, there's a save point down here. Excellent. Welcome to the backyard. If you want a little spice to your battles, this is the place for you. Hang on. Isn't that a key for a magic lock? We have some monsters in a room here, but it's locked with one of those. So they couldn't go out to battle. Hand it over the magical lock key. Welcome to Heavy Class. This ought to be fun. You'll have some challenging matches ahead of you. Um, not yet. I don't want to fight yet. I want to talk to everybody first. And I don't know if I wanted to unlock Heavy just yet. Or maybe it's just unlock Heavy. I want to fight through Light. A good fight just gets me so passionate. Putting your life on the line. Ooh, isn't it great? Do you have anything else to say? No, just the one. Hey, hey, about time we got some new folks in here. This your first time watching the backyard? I'm planning on participating. What do you mean watching? You need to do your research to get the most out of the battles. It's no fun if you don't even know the rules. The battles here work under a lot of diverse rule sets, and believe me, no one knows more about them than I do. All right, so battle information. Okay, then. So what class do you want info on? Let's do, we're doing light first. Sorry, folks. I'm afraid I can't leak that info out to people quite yet. All right. Middle class? Nope. How about heavy class? Nope. All right. You can't keep a good winning streak going without equally good information. Let me know if you need any more help. More importantly, do you know about the backyard for beginners? It's the classic guide to the backyard. It's pretty rare, too. If you can find it, I'd have a lot more information for you. Okay, well, the backyard for beginners is actually the victory prize for winning the first fight. There's also a bonus prize that I'll get into in a minute. Um, or I guess I'll do it now. The bonus prize is a seed slot. And the bonus condition to get said seed slot is to let the Kololons perform combination four times. Ha! That's the spirit. Now then, choose what you'd like to battle. Uh, we're going... Yeah, so... You've got a whole bunch of different pieces and everything here. So we're going to do the Kololon Battalion. This is perfectly fine. I'm really curious if we get SP or experience out of here, but we'll see. Alright, show me what you got. According to the internet, the internet said no for experience. Okay, there's three of them. And we need to let them perform combination. So I'm going to do our normal setup so that we take less damage. Shield us and composite all generata. Well, there's one. I'm curious how much this does. Eight damage. All right, so I didn't need the all generata. <laughs> Miraculous 
But it's alright. Having that regeneration in effect is never a bad thing. Alright, so I think I'm just going to have everybody defend until they do that combination four times. Oh yeah, I could start doing Powerus and Mindus. That's right. Alright, Spell, Spirit, All Mindus, and All Powerus. Well, here's combination number two. Yeah, since I know this, I don't want to do this fight twice. So, you know, we're just... <laughs> I love some of these animations. Alright, there's three. Anyway, I was saying, since I have the guide, I don't really want to do this fight twice. Um, the, the backyard for beginners gives you what the bonus prize is, what, how to do it, all that stuff. Here's four. It does say four plus, so I'm going to go to five. And then we'll start attacking people. lot earlier because <laughs> they're only I mean they're cola lawns but uh, we're going to gamble because it seems to be the best one you're gonna just use force I love the big giant wing that she has as a sword, though. And this? The fact that we can take out all three in one turn? I mean, technically. Unless this gamble completely fails, too. There we go. Uh is why you just defend. Like, we didn't need the Shieldus, we didn't need the Barricadus, we didn't need the Mindus or uh, Powerus. But, well done. Congratulations. Here's your prize for winning. Take it. I got Backyard for Beginners. Boy, that was one pitched battle. I was getting excited just watching it. Here is a little battle bonus for you. Seed slot. Nice. All right. So let's see here. How many seed slots do I have? Well, there are items, that's right. I have three <laughs> 26 slots. <laughs> All right. Hello, sir. Hmm, isn't that the backyard for beginners? That's a collector's item. Fans are easy, eager to get that sort of thing. I'll give you some inside info if you'll ha let me have a peek. Sure. All right. Now, what battle information do you have on light class? Ha ha. All right. So, we're going to go through these even though I have them in front of me. The Festival of Magic. That's what you want, hmm? You aren't letting other enemies handle the dirty work for you, are you? It's not a true victory unless you defeat them all, you know? That about covers it, I think. Anything else? So, that one is defeat all of the enemies. The victory condition is up to two player characters. Defeat all enemies. Attacks not allowed. Skills not allowed. Items not allowed. So I have to defeat all of the enemies myself. Um, 
Single target or fast. Have two magic users cast Grounda at either pair of enemies. Oh, they're water damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Grounda would just take, take burn them out. All right. Pure Gluttony. The explosive bugs don't show their real power until they've eaten a few guys. Beating up on the weaker explosive bugs isn't any impressive feats. So that one, it wants you to let the explosive bugs prey on the magical insects at least three times each. Two eyeballs. There used to be a guy here who defeated four white dogs. Set a record doing it too, I hear. That about covers it. All right. So two eyeballs. The bonus condition is defeat at least four white dogs before defeating the evil eye. And then Puppet Master. So if they stay under outside control for too long, the magic will never fade away. Save them as soon as you can. So this one is win the challenge in 10 turns or less. All right. Let's go get these taken care of. By the way, do you have this week's The Backyard Weekly? I didn't get a copy before it sold out. I usually buy it every week. I, I, I do. But there we go. Hey, isn't that The Backyard Weekly? That's a collector's item. Fans are eager for that sort of thing. I'll give you some info. Uh, I believe The Backyard Weekly is for middle class. And now he wants Biography of the Backyard, which is for Heavy Class. And hey, I have that too. So we're just going to hand everything over. I just can't get enough of reading the Biography of the Backyard. With that book in hand, I have complete knowledge. Perfect. Alright, we are going to fight... The Festival of Magic. We are going to take Ming and Sarah. And yeah, these don't give any SP and these don't give any experience. Which is perfectly fine. They're little they're little fun bits. Alright, so what am I doing here? Take out one side, ground up. All right, spell black magic, ground uh. Um, do I want to do the wise men? Oh, they all have the same. So yeah, we're gonna do wise men A. Nope, not spirit. And we're gonna do wise man B. Wow, these two go fast. You know, I don't know what jamming actually does. Does it just slow you down? Well, that was a simple fight. Oh, hey, can you guess what our bonus prize is? So the regular prize is five mana bottles. And the bonus prize, no surprise at all, is an extra seed slot. Let's go right into pure gluttony. Which is... Yeah, just let them gobble the explosive blood g bugs. And once they get to three... Once they get to three bugs... Then, sorry, my brain just stopped working. No. Once they get to three bugs, then we can kill them. But we're going to do our normal. We're even going to straight up 
buff everybody, including regen again, because it just makes fights so much easier. So much easier. Okay. Defeat the explosive bugs. We can do that. What skill do these guys have? Oh, yeah, cut down. So we're going to defend and defend. And then we want... All barricade us. We want all shield us. And we want... All generata. Alright. So B has one. A has one. Is it all? At least three times each, yeah. I'm sorry. That's just too funny. Because, you know, it's it's one of those things that... You're just going to defend now. That... Um, like, they do a couple hundred damage, and then I'm healing for eight or nine hundred. Alright, so B has two. Sorry, A has two. B just attacked. <laughs> Some of these are still really, really loud. All right. Um, we're gonna attack two magic insects, and these three back here are gonna defend, because I want to give them some, uh, MP back. Alright, I can kill A. And we have to wait for B to eat one more. You know, because I don't know which one was actually which, I'm going to wait for them both to eat one more on the same turn. Which means I get to just defend with everybody. Well, I know for a fact that B has eaten three. Alright, cool. Time to just wipe them out. Especially with a GC of zero, I should be able to just wallop on these bugs. No, don't defend. Spirit Gamble. You know what? We'll use Forcia. It's fine. Force didn't do very much last time anyway. Alright, there's one down. Between the three casters, they should be able to take B down. Yeah, I don't think this gamble even needs to do a couple hundred. It needed to do more than 140. Definitely needed to do more than 140. All right. How much do we have left? Um, say what?
Does eating an insect fully restore its HP? Sorry, it's dead. Let us pray for those who've passed. Nice. And we get 10 power drinks. As well as a seed slot. All right, next up is two eyeballs. Which the normal victory condition is win within 10 turns. The bonus is defeat four white dogs. So I got to do everything in 10 turns. So I need four white dogs and then I can defeat the evil eyes. Do they summon dogs? Okay. Ah. So, while I'm going through and getting all of the normal stuff set up, the Cyclops in the middle, um, we don't want to attack it because then no more white dogs will spawn. Alright, we got one more. Just one more. And that's fine. We can take care of Petrify. Petrify is not a problem. So we're going to attack the white dog. You're going to... Uh, yeah, you're going to defend. Here... I need... Not seal. Stone cure. Let's do the back row since there's two in the back row. You can give me just a single cure-all. Or Cure Petrify would actually be better on Kaim. And then we want... Uh, let's just drop a Powerus. Yeah, I had a feeling he was in the back row. Alright, we got two of them. Perfect. And nobody's petrified, just like that. I love how it missed the Cyclops. <laughs> I love Cook. She's fantastic. All right, you take out C. You should be able to take out D. And then you three just defend. Because we need to take out D. Once we take out D... Oh, yeah, that was nice. Now I'm just going to, like, hold A and not care. Because we'll get five dogs at this point. So, let's take out the Cyclops. Let's also gamble on everything and Forcia. Wait, am I not able to take out the Cyclops? 
Am I not able to take out the Cyclops with physical? I don't think I'm able to take out the Cyclops at all. Good to know. All right. So we get to kill the two dogs. And then these are going to do the same thing, but on the evil eye. Very nice, very nice. Hundred and forty five, come on. There we go, that's better. At least we only get one dog at a time. All right. Do I have Prismaris? <laughs> so that's what? Seven dogs? Nice. Pray for those who passed. Well done. Congratulations. Here's your prize for winning. Five healing potions. And it was a pitched battle, so we got another seed slot. All right, last fight. Both for the episode and for Light is Puppet Master. So the bonus strategy for Puppet Master, while we load in, is... We should be able to just target the Puppet Master directly. See, I'm worried that if we hit a controlled one, we're going to just kill it. So we're not going to do any kind of buffs. We're just going to attack. We're not, I'm not even going to, like, increase anything. Just straight up attacks. Uh, puppet Masters are just magic type with none. All right. So attack A. We'll get two attacks on A. We'll do a gamble on B. I'm going to do a 4 us on C and a second gamble on B. I just want to see how much everything does right off the bat. 130 is not terrible. Especially when they only do 37 damage. I'm curious how much the gambles are going to do. That wasn't bad. All those gambles are going to make this a lot shorter of work. Yeah. A lot shorter of work. Oh. Uh yeah, no. You're you're not going to attack anything. I'm sorry. Not if you randomly attack things. Normally that would be okay, but uh, not in this instance. Well, now we do a little bit more damage. <laughs> One on a counter. Love it. That seemed like a needless battle.
Well done. Congratulations. Here's your prize. So wait, the regular prize was a seed slot on that? Oh, look at that. And the bonus is poisonous red snakes. Awesome. Light class master. Ha <laughs> ha. Meet the secret requirement for the light class battle set and one. Okay, uh, do I talk to you? Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's okay. Let's talk to you again. If you get some, you get some stars after battle. Five of those, and you can exchange them for items. Oh, I have enough stars. Here's what you can choose from. What do you want? I want forbidden explosives. Thank you very much. All right, so we get stars for winning battles. At five, you get explosives. At ten, you can get healing tanks, mana bottles, or a soul medicine. At fifteen, you get cape of illusions. So I would like. Ironically, the biggest thing that I usually have issues with is mana. So give me some mana bottles. So we're going to take the Cape of Illusions. And next target's 20 stars. At 20, we get some invisibility potions. All right. I'm going to spend a little bit of time. Actually, I need to go look and see what we need, but we'll do that before we hit the, uh, uh, what do you call it? I think we're going to do a little bit in the Temple of Enlightenment, or at least start the Temple of Enlightenment a little bit. So I will meet you all on the White Boa, the bridge next episode and we will dive into the temple of enlightenment until then i hope you folks enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button down below if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content and as always i will catch you folks in the next episode stay frosty out there <laughs>